What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Jet boat build. It's the 16 foot modified V boat with a 1996 CDO XP 110 horsepower two cylinder. Uh, getting close to slapping it together to get it in the water for a test before I do anything more than I have to. So now I'm kinda just looking to to get by as slim as I can just to get it out for its first test run to make sure all the kinks are ironed out before I can go into paint and decking and carpet and finishing but uh, I just wanted to show the here's the two levers that tall aluminum ones the steering and that copper one in the background is the reverse that reverse one will be cut down and it will probably only come off the deck a few inches above deck height and it'll have a little eight ball shifter knob on it that controls the reverse bucket and then this will be cut down a lot more than it is too for the steering but they're both the same design I used the factory plastic bracket and just bolted it to some angle tacked in all this framing that you see is just tacked for now um because anyone that welds knows you don't you don't go welding until you're you're 100 sure and i'm not yet since i haven't started cutting the deck plates and getting ready for hinges and everything so you know you don't want to go welding all this stuff up until you're to that point so for now it's just all tacked in um kind of hard to see down in there but it's just sandwiched with stainless washers and two little drop flanges tacked in there real simple setup it's not all bolted tight that's a I still got to tighten these up but but uh, they're real simple systems uh, these I actually banged out both of these reverse and steering units in just a couple hours really um, there's nothing to it just basically cut out a notch at the bottom of both of the tubes to fit the factory uh, little connector rod there's a couple washers on each side of this inside the tube there to keep it to keep it from scraping doesn't actually contact the tube at all real simple super simple stuff and again the, the copper ones the same thing and then a look at the exhaust I think I covered it in another video but that muffler wouldn't clear so I had to cut off the back end of it cut off like two inches of it and then re-weld a cap on so it could fit down in there and then from the purple muffler to the exit out the boat on the OEM setup this was all rubber this exhaust pipe you see there that's aluminum now so I just ordered a few tight bend radiuses and welded some tubing there's the port that it comes out so uh, mainly because the the factory one was all rubber hose this was the factory hose I'm using a piece of it still in this setup just goes like that uh, but the factory one actually stuck up all weird and would have been about eight inches above my deck boards so I couldn't I had to do this to get by with that look at the the framing 
pretty simple setup. It's going to have a, a hatch door here, a long one, so you can reach back in here. Bilge pump will be down there. Uh, then that'll be a cabinet door right here. And then again over here will be a cabinet door. And then this, I don't have the, the header pipe on here yet, but that actually sticks up above the deck height as well. So this portion is going to have a fiberglass bump in it to clear that header pipe. And again, the header pipe's not in there. It would connect to the mid pipe here and it bulges up and sticks up high. So it'll be a little contoured fiberglass bulge, which will be able to hold your weight if it was to be stepped on. And then the back deck drops down to the seating deck. It'll be three seats, one, two, three. Uh, the boat can be controlled from the center seat or the right hand side seat. And then there's the battery tray down there in the middle. It's going to be, it's two RV size batteries, camper batteries sitting back there under the bench. There's the two batteries. They're uh, group 29s, the biggest ones I could get without really getting into a serious job. Each of those weighs 60 pounds, so that's 120 pounds. And they'll both sit there side by side. So that'll be 120 pounds of batteries right there on that tray. And then the seating. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but they say that you want to set these boats up weight wise for 60% in the rear and 40% up front. So that's why I chose to put the batteries right in front of the engine. So you got the motor, which is already the motor is spaced up from the rear a bit and then the batteries will be there and then the, the passenger weight will be there which already kind of sits it you know towards its butt end but not on the butt and then until I do the front deck boards and the trolling motor is going to have a good bit of weight to it up there um, as well as the gas tank will be in the center running front to rear leaving clearance on both sides of it for cabinet storage.